So for this tutorial, we need a web browser, one that has HTML5 and CSS3 capabilities, and Adobe Edge, which you can get from this link, html.adobe.com slash edge slash animate, it will be in the description box, and just scroll down, click get started, and make an account with them, and then you can download it. I'm going to make a page for my YouTube channel, so just open up Edge Animate, click create new, and this should pop up. So these are the properties of whatever I've selected, and this is the elements of whatever I've got on stage. So I'm going to click back here, resize this to 450 by 300 pixels, and I'm going to zoom in by using this zoom, and I'm going to make the background color hashtag 3b55 double e, which is just a light blue, and then go to file, import, logo, because I want my logo to be imported, and click this to keep it in proportion, and I'm just going to make it 150 by 150 pixels, and now I'm going to go to the T tool, and just insert a text box like this, and it's going to say YouTube channel, and then select that, and make it size 62, center it, and make it semi bold. Now I'm going to go back to import, and import website link, which is just my image, that I'm going to use to link to my website, hold shift, and resize it to keep it in proportion, and leave it there. So now if I go back to my text, I scroll down, and next to cursor, instead of having an auto cursor, I want it to be a pointer, it's going to be linked to my YouTube channel. Same thing for my website image, and I'm going to select my YouTube channel text, and in these brackets, I'm going to click it to open actions. And when they click, I want this code to be executed, which is just JavaScript. So window.open, and I'm going to type in, in these speech marks, my YouTube URL. And close that with a semicolon. So this just opens my YouTube channel in a new tab. So click the X, and I'm going to do the same thing for my image. and then just click X again so now I'm going to go back and click this rectangle tool and just make a rectangle over here and just center it using these pink alignment lines and then change its background color to hash 47 E750 and that's just a light green and then add in a black border that's solid and four pixels wide like that and if I scroll down I can go to cursor uh, sorry I can go to corners and have four corners like this and make this 64 pixels now it's got a rounded corner at the end and then just resize it to fit and then I'm gonna insert text and just put that over my rectangle and just type in creativity at its best explanation mark and just resize this so it fits on the rectangle and just leave it like that now after I've done everything I want to add some animation so I'm gonna zoom out a little more so I can show you this properly and enable animation mode by clicking this stopwatch and now I want it to start about, let's say, one and a half seconds in. And I'm going to have this move in while fading. So to do that, I have to add keyframes for the X and Y, which is its location positions, and its transparency. And then move it to about 2.25 seconds. And add in keyframes for this as well. And then move back to the one and a half second mark. And move it to where I want it to start, so in the top left there, and then just change its transparency to zero. So now if I press space, I can preview this, and it's faded in. I'm just going to do the rest of these here. So now I've just grouped my text in rectangle and just had it fade in. So now I can show you what that looks like, so it just does that. And now I'm going to scroll down, and for my YouTube channel text, I'm going to have an X, a Y, and a rotation keyframe over here and do the same thing and move it to about three and a half seconds 
and add keyframes for that and then move it back and then just move it here and in rotation I'm just going to have it 180 so it's upside down and now if I show you what happens it's just going to turn and fly in and for my website picture I'm just going to have it scale which is basically like it growing while the time goes on so I'm going to go to click it and go to the scale which is here, so transform and add keyframes for scale X and scale Y move it to 4 seconds and add keyframes for them as well so now go back and on this I'm just going to make this 0 and 0 and then that's it so now if I show you it looks like that so if I want I can save this so go to file, save as give it a name, I'm just going to call it computing boss website and you can save it as a html file or a htm file I'm just going to make it a html file click save and go back to where you saved it and it's this one over here and just open it in a web browser like google chrome so as you can see the logo fades in that faded in and now if I click youtube channel my youtube channel pops up and now my website should pop up. So this concludes the Adobe Edge tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please vote, comment, subscribe and comment tutorial suggestions. Thank you for watching.